Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabati fillah a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and he complained to him that he uh, found something in his prayer meaning he thought he broke his prayer شُكِيَ لَنَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم رَجُلٌ يُخَيُّلْ إِلَيْهِ أَنْهُ يَجِدُ الشَّيْءِ فِي الصَّلَاةِ So the man, he came to the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and he complained that he, uh, you know, that he broke his prayer. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم responded, he said, لَا تَنْصَرَفْ حَتَّى تَسْمَعَ صَوْتٍ أُوْ لا تنصرف حتى تسمع صوتا أو يسمع صوتا أو يجد ريحا وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا تنصرف You know, don't don't leave the prayer حتى تسمع صوت until you uh, hear something أو تجد ريحا or that you smell something uh, in this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it shows us the importance of not giving attention to waswas. And we receive so many questions from our brothers and sisters about the issue of waswas, of uh, people being confused. You know, what should I do if I prayed and I think I broke my wudu? What should I do if I... Uh, you know, I'm not sure which rakah I'm on. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Or the shaitan is whispering to me. I think I uh, made a kufr. Or all kind of different masail or issues that arise from people giving attention to waswas. And so that hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the scholars, they mention that there's a qaida azima. Uh, that is deduced from this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that there's an, an immensely important principle which is derived or deduced from this hadith, from this nas. And that is al yaqeen la yazul al yaqeen bi shak. That doubtfulness does not remove certainty. So letting us know, and the scholars of fiqh, the fuqaha, scholars of jurisprudence, they mention so many masail, so many issues related to this uh, in different scenarios with regards to issues people face. But if you understand this principle, that when something doubt, doubtfulness does not remove something you're certain of. And we've explained this many times, so I'm not going to go into uh, various scenarios. But if you understand that doubtfulness or when you receive waswas, those things, whisperings from the shaitan, whisperings of, of kufr, whisperings of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, know that those things will not harm you if you do not act upon them. So in this regard, if, for example, you, the shaitan whispers and says, you know, Allah is like such and such or the shaitan whispers, or your uh, subconscious mind, or because you were listening to something strange, or however and whatever is the source of that waswas, that waswas shaitania, that it comes to you with uh, something of kufr. As long as you do not speak about it, as long as you do not act upon it. As long as you do not believe it, it will not harm you. Seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from it and move forward. And that is a habitifillah, which I fear for many of the youth, and it seems in this time, more so than in any time in the past, that so many youth are maybe because of social media, maybe because changes in the society, maybe because of diet, 
maybe because of all of these various factors that influence the people and make some of the people weaker than the way they were in the past and more uh, more uh, mental illness and more fitna and more uh, things which actually deter people's mental and physical and spiritual health. And this being the case of Habatifillah, it's very important. Do not let the shaitan deceive you. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.